Well, today it's been rather pleasant, hasn't it? Although, when the sun disappeared behind the cloud and with the winds gusting 35 to 45 miles per hour, it did feel rather chilly. But in the sunshine, out of the wind, well, as Kamina emailed, it was a lovely day. And in fact, for some of us, the warmest day of the year so far. On the North Norfolk coast at Weybourne, we reached 21 degrees Celsius today, which is 70 degrees Fahrenheit. In Northampton, here, 16 Celsius, but that's a good sort of three or four degrees above average for the time of year. And we're going to get warmer still. Overnight tonight, well, it looks like it's going to be dry for most of us. We'll have some clear spells, some patchy mist and fog and temperatures for some of us will stay in double figures around 10 or 11 degrees celsius these are the kind of values we should be seeing as a daytime high and overnight we should see these winds easing down as well so tomorrow this high pressure still anchored to the east stopping this weather front and the rain associated with it making inroads into our part of the world so i think we're going to have that mist fog and cloud around first thing but that should quickly clear and then for many of us it looks like we'll have unbroken sunshine tomorrow although we may just get a thin layer of high cloud just turning that sunshine a bit hazy at times and i think away from the coast where we'll have an onshore breeze well i think inland highs of 22 perhaps even 23 degrees celsius which is 73 degrees fahrenheit so tomorrow with more sunshine, lighter winds and slightly higher temperatures, it will feel warmer. And then on Thursday, that high pressure just shifts its position slightly, but still keeps this weather front out to the west. And so Thursday, again, perhaps some mist and fog clearing inland. And then for most of us, it will again be unbroken sunshine. I say most of us because we may just see some areas of mist and fog around the coast and here an onshore breeze. So temperatures on the coast, perhaps not quite as high as inland, where potentially we could get up to 25 Celsius on Thursday, perhaps even 26 in some spots, which is 79 degrees Fahrenheit. And then on Friday we keep the warm air and it looks like almost a repeat performance. Temperatures with a bit more cloud around might not get quite as high as on Thursday but we can't rule out an odd 25 or 26 and we again on Friday might just have a bit of mist and fog around the coast. And then over the weekend yesterday I mentioned the risk of some showers and thunderstorms but that risk has now gone away. Those showers probably confined to the southwest of the UK and it could be that fine and dry weather continues into the beginning of next week too. And just before I go, those are your overnight lows, so still no frost.